Happy Sunday everyone. Welcome once again to our discussion for today. So today we are still going to discuss about differentiation rules. But our main focus for today is all about the sum rule. Of course, uh, when we solve some examples, other rules like the power rule, uh, constant multiple rule will also be uh, involved in the process. Okay, so we have the sum rule, if you can still remember from our previous discussion, that if you have f of x or function of x equal to the sum of two function of x, like g of x plus or minus h of x. So the derivative of this function f prime of x equal to g sub x plus or minus f prime h prime of x okay so that is uh, uh, case number one for the sum rule because we also have another uh, case that if you have f of x equal to f1 sub x plus or minus f2 sub x plus or minus and so on and so forth until you have plus or minus f n sub x then if you are asked to find the derivative of the function in this uh, form so you have f prime of x is equal to f1 prime of x plus or minus f2 prime of x plus minus so on and so forth plus or minus so fn prime of x so this is our second case of the sum rule okay so let us have some examples here okay so this is uh, actually in our discussion this is our theorem number number four in our previous lecture so theorem number four this is our theorem number five okay now for example so we have example number one if we are given for example uh, f of x equal to x cubed plus four okay so using the rule the sum rule so our f prime of x is equal to so we'll take the derivative of each of this function so for the first uh, function so you can use the power formula okay so the power formula says that you have to bring this down and then multiply it the power is 3 bring it down multiply it uh, with with the base or by the base so x is the base then the power which is 3 or the exponent equal to 3 so subtract it by 1 then plus so this function is a constant so derivative of a constant we know that it's always equal to 0 so f prime of x equal to 3x times uh, sorry 3 times x or 3x raised to power 3 minus 1 equal to 2 okay so this is our answer and example number two so if you are given f of x equal to x to the power 4 minus 
x and to find the derivative of this function so f prime of x equal to again this is a power formula so bring down the power or exponent which is equal to 4 multiply it by the base x then the power you subtract by 1 minus so this is also understood to have a power x to the po power 1 so the power 1 here is not shown but understood to have a power 1 this x so bring it down in times x then the power which is 1 minus 1 so f prime of x equal to 4 times x to the power 3 and 1 times x is x then x to the power 1 minus 1 is 0 so f prime of x equal to 4 x cubed minus uh, any number raised to power 0 is always equal to 1 provided that the base is not equal to 0 so this is 1 okay so this is our second example another example example number three so if you are given say f of x equal to negative 5x to the power 4 minus 3x squared so the derivative of this f prime of x is equal to so we have actually the the constant multiple rule uh, will be involved in the process in solving this problem so we have a constant we have this variable so our constant you have to isolate the constant which is 5 then take the derivative of x to the power 4 so again power rule so bring the power or exponent down and then multiply it by x then the power is 4 then subtract it by 1 and minus again we have constant that is 3 then apply the power rule for x squared so we have 2 bring the power down which is 2 then x to the power 2 minus 1 so f prime of x equal to minus 5 times 4 is 20 times x to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 right then minus 3 times 2 is 6 then x to the power 2 minus 1 so understood to be 1 so therefore our f prime of x is equal to negative 20 x cubed minus 6 x so no need to write the power or exponent 1 So another example <clears throat> we are given say f of x equal to x to the minus 3 plus x to the minus 3 halves Okay, so our f prime of x is equal to apply the power rule. So bring the power down. So negative 3x, then multiply it by x, then raise to a power minus 3, minus 1, then plus. So bring the power down, which is minus 3 halves, and times the base, which is x 
and raise to a power minus 3 halves minus 1 okay so f prime of x equal to this is minus 3 x to the power negative 3 negative 1 negative 4 then minus plus or plus minus so this is minus so 3 halves x to the power 3 halves minus 1 so 3 halves minus 1 let us solve this minus 3 over 2 minus 1 equal to so find the LCD LCD here is 2 understood to be over 1 so 2 divided by 2 is 1 times negative 3 negative 3 2 divided by 1 is 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 so therefore this is equal to negative 5 over 2 so that is our exponent for the x the second x so therefore we have uh, x to the power minus 5 halves so this is our answer so these are the examples for theorem number 4 okay so do you have any question now for the other theorem so let's have one example for this theorem 5 theorem number 5 so if you have uh, multiples of or several uh, other functions and you're adding or subtracting it so the same the same rule no? as in uh, 4 or 5 so just a matter of the number of functions you are adding or subtracting okay for example so this is our example number five so example number five uh, if you are given f of x equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 5 then our f prime of x is equal to so the power rule says that bring it down the power here then multiplied by the base then this will be 2 because 3 minus 1 is 2 plus bring this down the power which is 2 times x to the power 2 minus 2 is 1 then minus so derivative of function is 0 so therefore f prime of x equal to 3 x squared plus 2 x to the power 2 times x to the power 1 so that is equivalent to 2 x all right so these are our example class our examples five examples for this part the sum rule okay so that's all for today hope you have understood everything and if you have any questions any comment then you just uh, uh, send your message uh, below all right so thank you very much uh, have a nice day keep safe and healthy everyone and may god bless us all so see you in the next video. Thank you very much.